today's video, I show you how to password protect your Excel tabs and give you some highlights to the review tab at the top. Um, and I'll show you what I mean by that in a second. Um, so say you see the pivot table here and the chart. Say you wanted to present this to your boss or maybe your client, the salary numbers last month. And the thing is with the pivot table, if you guys have seen past videos, you can tell that a pivot table is being fed information from another data source. So in this situation, I have a separate tab here, this data tab, that is feeding the pivot table, which is in turn feeding the output of this chart. Now say I give it to my boss or my uh, my client, whatever, um, and I don't want them to mess with this data tab. So what do I do? So the first thing you might think of if you're already familiar is if you actually right click the tab, you can hide it. That way they don't know how to get to it and it kind of helps deter them from you know, exploring the sheet other than this one page. However, someone else who is very familiar with the spreadsheet could just as easily unhide it. And you see this pop up data and boom, it's back. So what do you do? So at the very top, if you go to the review tab and then over here on the right, there's the protect section. So you can see there's protect sheet and then it's protect work, <laughs> protect workbook. And uh, so the difference between the two is protect sheet is protecting the specific tab. So these two are tabs, right? Summary tab and data tab. So the sheet would protect an individual tab on your workbook. The workbook represents the entire Excel file itself. So say you ha you're dealing with a lot of sensitive information. So in this case, since this would be potentially, you know, uh, employee salaries, that's very sensitive. So you might want to protect the entire workbook to make sure that nobody who doesn't have the password opens the file. Um, but in this situation, we're just trying to use the tab. So we're going to protect the sheet. So we're going to click this and you see a little pop up here. Um, this first prompt tells me to put in the password and what will happen here is it actually it gives you some options of what they're editing. Even when the cell is locked or I'm sorry, the sheet is locked. Um, what are, what, what can a user do when that is locked? So you can just let them select, but they won't be able to edit. Um, much. You kind of want to limit it. That's the whole point of password protecting this. Um, so if you don't put in a password, it'll still stay locked, but somebody can just easily unlock the, without being prompted with a password. So just keep that in mind. So in this, I'm just going to put a little quick password. I'm keeping the cells locked uh, and unlocked as a feature because what it does, oh, I got prompted twice. So it allows me to click around if I want. Otherwise, I wouldn't even you wouldn't even see this cursor or any cells being highlighted if I didn't select that. Uh, but now you see a little lock here on the tab. So what I can do for an extra step now, so now that I'm confident that none of this will be edited at any point, if I wanted to unprotect, I could go back up here, enter the password, and the lock will go away. But in this point, I'm all set where I want to be. Um, so actually, I'll take the extra step and go back to hide the, ta the tab. Um, and now all that that is seen is just the salary information um, and the charts here. Um, so that's essentially it. I, I do have a little bit of time, so I might go some other highlights quickly through the review tab. Um, so that's how you protect. It's really useful. Um, some other things that are really good, kind of unrelated, but say you know you want to make sure that this is um, you know client ready or boss ready for a presentation, you can use spell check. Now you're not going to get prompted like with the red squiggly line like you do in Word. So it's always good to kind of click on this before you send this out to, you know, anybody else's eyes on it because you want to keep the professional look going. Uh, so that's a useful trick. Um, you can add comments. So say if you do for accounting, just being like, can you check this? And you'll see that there's a little red tab that shows in the top right corner. Uh, so that's useful for notes and when you're sharing the, the documents with other, other individuals. Um, my last thing is this workbook statistics. So this is actually really useful if you say you're getting a spreadsheet that you're working on for the first time. Um, this will actually cite, like how, it summarizes everything in the spreadsheet for you or the workbook. Um, and it tells you how many cells have data. Uh, you know, how many pivot tables there are, how many charts are being used, how many formulas, things like that. Um, so I think that kind of helps summarize a lot of things for you. Um, so that's pretty much it. I hope that was useful for you guys. Please give us a like if you liked the video and don't forget to subscribe for more content.